Hi everyone, we're going to prove that s to the nth power minus 2 to the nth power is divisible by 4 for all positive integers n. So we're going to restate the conjecture using the definition of divisibility. And basically that means um, s sub n, and we're going to state it as s of 6 of n minus uh, 2 to the nth power equals uh, 4r for some, and I'm just going to write for some uh, r, that's an integer, that's some integer r. Uh, I don't want to do that. It's just for some r, that's an integer, okay? Um, so the first thing we're going to do is condition 1 and show that it um, s of n is valid for n equals 1. So we plug that in. So we have s of 1, 6, I'm sorry I say that, 6 to the first power minus 2 to the first power equals 4, and clearly 4 is divisible by 4. All right, so now we're going to go to condition 2. For condition 2, we're going to assume that s of n is valid for n equals k, and prove that it also is valid for n equals k plus 1. So this first part we're going to write out as 6 to the kth power minus 2 to the kth power uh, equals 4r for some r that belongs to the integers. All right? And then we're going to assume that s, so this is um, sk, s sub k. Now we're going to assume that it's true, and then we're also going to assume that it works for s sub k plus 1, which would be s 6 of k plus 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1 for, and we're going to change the r to t now for some t that belongs to the integer, and I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, and what we're going to do is rewrite S of K um, this way. We're going to rewrite it as 6 to the little k equals, I'm moving the 2k over to make it positive. Okay, and now I'm going to rewrite the left side of this expression so it matches the left side of... Uh, s of k plus 1. So basically what I'm doing is this. I'm going to write 6 of k equals 2 to the k plus 4r. Now what I mean by the left side here, I want to write this as 6 to the k plus 1. And to do that, I need to multiply 6 to the k by 6 because that equals 6 to the k plus 1. I don't know why I drew that. Okay? So we're going to multiply both sides by 6. I'm going to multiply this side by 6, and I'm going to multiply this side by 6. But instead of writing 6 here, I'm going to write 2 plus 4. And you'll see why in a minute. So there's little tricks in these proofs. So we do have the left sides matching. We have the 6 to the k plus 1, which is what we wanted, and then I'm going to foil um, this side, first, outer, inner, last, and we're going to go ahead and, um, I should have wrote this as, I believe, um, well, I left it at R, so, okay, so we're going to have 2 times 2 to the k plus 4 times 2 to the k plus 8r plus 16r. Now, so we have 6 to the k plus 1 equals 2 to the k plus 1 based on the same thing we have here plus um, 4, I'm just going to copy this down.
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this uh, down here, minus 2k plus 1 from both sides. And what you're going to get is um, 6 to the k plus 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1, which is what we wanted, equals, I'll put this in blue, equals um, 4 times 2 to the k plus, and I added this, 24r. Now, what I can do here, I'm going to go ahead and keep this, and I'm going to a different side here, but this is 4 times this. I can factor out a 4, and I'm going to get 2 to the k plus um, 6r. All right, so now we have this side matching, which is our desired result. And we also, we're going to let this equal t. So on the next side, I'm going to have um, let t equal 2k plus 6r. So we're going to have 6 to the k plus 1 minus 2 to the k plus 1 equals 4t. All right, since this is divisible by 4, that means it we, we have shown that s of n is valid when s sub k plus 1 is also valid. All right? And if you plug in any numbers here, it will work out. So, hence, 6 to the, the nth power minus 2 to the nth power is divisible by 4. I'll just do that. For all positive integers in. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.